Welcome to the first episode of a new series I've been making, especially about portrait this time. So it will not contain any water as such. And uh, we start out with a sketch. So what I do, I take the medium, which is uh, liquid, original, and I take a rounded brush and then I look closely at the example of the painting I want to make, so with the, the reference photo in this case, and I try to make a, a very basic sketch, that's what I do. I first do some outlines, here we have the shoulder, and the next step is the head. I'm going to be focusing on. So why do I use burnt sienna, you may ask? Because it's a non-disturbing background color. It's um, quite easy to, uh, to paint over without any hassle. Um, if you have like a stronger color like maybe ultramarine blue or like a, red, a, a very vibrant red you might occasionally have the problem that shines through which we don't want so it shouldn't be disturbing for the next layers so now I'm doing the hair and I'm trying to figure out how to measure there are different methods of measuring Sometimes I just do it with hands, but in all honesty, it's very legitimate to have some help like a ruler. So I, I show you, for example, if I have the reference photo one to one, I can easily measure the reference photo and correct. In this case, I'm just putting the chin down a bit. And see if it must not move a bit to the left. Well, to be honest, this is the second take of the preliminary sketch because the first one was extremely blurry <laughs> and I only found out after I finished the portrait. So for that reason, I uh, thought I will make a new one, but just a sketch. So if you see any difference between uh, what's happened in this video and episode 2, well, that may be the reason, and otherwise I've been working uh, somewhat to correct minor mistakes I made. It's mainly uh, half a centimeter to the left, or something like that, you know, the positioning of the eyes. Those minor things I mostly correct during painting processes, so that's why I start out quite uh, rudimentary and later on we will refine it. And one uh, most important thing to say is at this stage it doesn't have to look like it at all. It doesn't matter. It, uh, it's more about practicing and posi positioning things already and then later on you can reposition if it doesn't really match up. About make sure that there is something on the canvas that resembles a potential portrait. And one of my main lessons when I give classes is I tell people that they should not be stressing out at any point, you know, because that really ruins the project. The, the whole experience of painting, you know, especially when you're not used to the method I am using. As you can see, I put in the face very, yeah, it's a <laughs> it doesn't look professional at this stage. It's just there to position and later on we can reposition. I can easily say by just looking at it for two seconds that it's not and the right spot, especially the mouth, should be down a bit. But it's already there, so we can reposition. And put the nose down a bit as well. 
maybe the face is also too too thin but we will see about it so now I'm moving on towards the neck and uh, in, in this uh, video uh, series I won't be focusing on the, the clothes because I have some other video where I've done that so if you look that up uh, you will find all about it in my uh, on my channel but I thought well um, eight videos about just the face and the hair that would be enough I can say uh, some minor words about background stuff and that would be it because if I were to do an extra class just about uh, clothing I think well many of you know how to paint clothes and maybe that's for the other videos on my channel so no, right now I'm, I'm looking how far the hair goes down as you can tell my face is almost full frontal she's turned a bit towards the left for us and the right to her she's also looking to the right which makes it kind of like dreamy distance portrait different from the ones where um, you uh, the, the sitter is looking at you so now i'm already mixing because uh, i think i'm finished for now for the sketch i'm already mixing something that resembles black what i do i mix ultramarine blue and burnt sienna and this is the first layer so uh, since both colors are more or less semi-transparent or um, something like it you won't get any results that uh, seems uh, seem opaque so I have to do another layer so I, I compare it to the black which is uh, on the top left of my um, palette and it's, it resembles it although black of course is a bit stronger still and this is just a basic layer to make it easier to paint here because she has this brownish shade of hair uh, dark brown and it's much easier uh, to paint if um, you paint it from a, a dark background in this case and we won't do the same with the face although they, they need to be a different color and it's more or less uh, something with lots of sienna and a bit of white right now I'm putting in the eyes already you can see it's just the, the outlines of it and uh, the shadowy part of the nose as well I, I will see about it later on you know, you can use a very big brush for this one. I use filament mainly, so synthetic brushes. They're um, well, <laughs> it's it's it's, a re it's it's mostly about uh, the economic. Exp uh, um, it's more about money. Let's say uh, you know, I don't want to spend too much on brushes. So I forget to clean every now and then especially when it's in this stage later on we have uh, when it comes to final brushes I have the different uh, kind of uh, synthetic brushes that are um, somewhat stiffer and easier to work with right now I just mixed uh, white with uh, burnt sienna and there's still a bit of blue in it from the black mixture and that you, I use this as a mid-tone to paint into the face this mid-tone makes uh, the, the basis for uh, the face so it's it's um, kind of a bit darkish at some spots at others it needs to get darker still but um, you know that's uh, a starting point and down the neck is somewhat darker so I use a bit more blue in it in the mixture and less white yeah 
finish up to here. You can already work into the different layers of color, uh, in different color, uh, but it is not that necessary at this stage. You can leave it quite uh, as it is. Some extra black for the eyes, the nose, the eyebrows. It's still not exact science, it's just filling in. I'm going to try to mix something for the background. It will be a, it's a dull, cool gray with uh, blue and a bit of yellow ochre in it as well to bring it down. Uh, it's just there to, to see if it's something we can use. I guess so, why not? You can see later on if it's the right color and change it um, into a darker shade or a lighter one, depending on what the portrait needs. So mostly um, it is said that you should first paint the background and then the figure, but I do with the other way around as well so and uh, for the clothes I'm not really decided so it will be some kind of grayish in front now I'm measuring a bit because I see that the face is still too thin so I need to make it a bit wider and it's moving to the left So <laughs> that's that's what you do. If you see something that isn't right, you can just move it a bit and make it wider. <laughs> 